if you could pick one song that you'd like to be remembered by, what would it disappear be? after your day. Why? Because um, it's the most beautiful thing we ever did, I think. How to Disappear Completely is a hauntingly beautiful track that is a complete embodiment of Tom York's psyche during the touring of OK Computer. After playing the Glastonbury Festival, which at the time was one of the biggest shows they had ever done, and also one of the most frustrating, as they couldn't hear themselves play due to malfunctions with the equipment, and there was even a point in the show where Tom wanted to walk off, but fellow band members stopped him from doing so. This had led Tom to his breaking point. Something had snapped, and he couldn't take it anymore. He was basically a shell of himself for about a year, as he didn't really have time to address his problems due to touring. These problems just kept building up, and it wasn't until the end of touring that Tom and the band had time to breathe. And it took him about a year before knowing where the band was headed next. And by that time that they had found direction, there were still lingering problems from the OK Computer days. Much of Kid A's direction and lyrics are due to those problems, and How to Disappear isn't an exception. While touring, Tom had reached out to Michael Stipe of R.E.M. for advice. Michael told Tom to pull the shutters down and keep saying, I'm not here. This isn't happening. This, of course, inspired the lyrics for the chorus of the song. The lyrics reference things from Tom's dreams, and the instrumental sounds help visualize this dreamscape. This is another track that embodies the floating aesthetic of Kid A. Tom would talk about nightmares he had during touring. One specifically was of him floating down the Liffey, which is a river in Dublin, and how he could fly and walk through walls as if he wasn't even there. He later references strobe lights and blown speakers, which is a direct reference to the Glastonbury Festival and the issues I spoke of earlier. The song builds and builds with these screeching strings heard in the background. It's like an ambient sound for a horror movie to build suspense. It's this unavoidable feeling of being overwhelmed and it continues until the climax of the song where it rushes in, completely taking over as Tom cries out, I'm not here, this isn't happening. The song ends. Rather than feeling empty and depressed as the song is extremely depressing, it, it somewhat validates the experience of both Tom and the listener. Maybe we can't all relate to the problems a rock star faces when being thrown into superstardom, but we can identify with the feeling of isolation and feeling trapped and alone. And the fact that Radiohead is able to capture these feelings and have millions of people relate and identify with them is what makes this song truly special. It makes it one of the best Radiohead tracks of all time. I think no matter where you rate this song on your Radiohead tier list, that there isn't really a song to be remembered by better than this one. Thank you for watching. This has been Stefan.